Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Last year, December 2020, UiPath has come up with an updates in the product. In one of the update, there is an update in the UiPath UI automation package update in which there were some properties added to the click, double click and the hover activities. The update is called the smooth mouse motion and we are going to see what exactly that means. So if you will see on my left hand side, this is a property of a click activity which is taken from a older version of the activity package. So if you will see at the options, I have something called alter disabled and cursor position, key modifiers, send window messages and similar click, right? So you must be aware of all of this. Now as soon as you update your activity pack to the newer version that is 2020.preview, I'll show in the demonstration, you will get a new option which is called the cursor motion type. Now inside the cursor motion type, we are getting two options which is called the instant and the smooth. Now, what is the objective of this video? In this video, we are going to see how we can upgrade our activity pack to the latest one. When we update, what is the difference of using this particular property with the uh, with the help of an example we are going to see and we are going to see what are the benefits we can get by using this property and what is the difference between the instant and the smooth. I am in my UiPath studio. So if I go to the properties project and if I go to the dependency, you will see the UiPath automation activity pack is at 20.10.8, right? So if I go to the activities, let me collapse this, collapse this. If I go to the activities and I take a click activity here, I will drag and drop a click activity. Now, if I go to the properties of the click activity, you will see we do not have the new options available, right? Similarly, for the double click also, I will just drag and drop a double click and a hover also. So for all of this click, double click and hover, we don't have that option uh, which was uh, demonstrated in the PPT. Let us see how we can get that. So to get that option, what we have to do is we have to go to the properties in the dependencies. This is the UiPath automation activity pack. So I go to the manage packages and we just update it to the latest version. So if I just select this drop down, you will see the latest one is this one 2020.12.preview. Let me go ahead and update and I'll save it. Let us just wait for the dependencies to get loaded. Okay, so the dependencies are loaded successfully. Let us verify. I go to the project and this is at the newer one. Now if I go to the click activities, I'll go to properties and the, I am getting an option of cursor uh, position and then there is a new option which is called the cursor motion type and under the cursor motion type I have two options now in this video we are going to see what is the difference between this using these two options okay so I'll take a simple example just we'll work only with the click activity okay so if I go to the Internet Explorer I have something called the Acme website in front of me if I click on the home right so this uh, does nothing but it just refreshes the page for me and if I click on the login button again it is uh, redirecting me to the same page okay so these are the, let's say two actions which I have to perform so what do we usually do the first thing if I go in the click activity I'll click indicate on the screen and let me point it to the ACME site I will go ahead and select the uh, home right that will refresh now once again to demonstrate we have to take is one more click activity I will go ahead and drag and drop one more click activity indicate on screen and let me click on the login okay so let us try to uh, see what exactly happens right so I will go here and in the menu I will run the file so now the bot is starting the UI assistance has started it will click and it has click on the login button right so that was pretty straightforward now what is the options I have now there are some of the applications so assuming that you are working on an application where if I just move the cursor uh, I click here and I directly click here the application does not work so to work for the application what I have to do I have to drag this mouse like this and then click on the login so in the previous version it was not possible right we just having the option and we are using the other similar type similar click property but now in this uh, with the new update what we can do is we can instruct the mouse that now if you will see we have not used any option that was just an instant right so it clicked on the mouse and then it directly clicked on the login 
but what if i want to move the mouse like this right so this i am doing manually what if i want to move the mouse like this so that uh, the mouse is uh, moving in the screen and the application required that so some of the applications we are automatic might have that requirement set right? so how do we handle that so for that we can we have to use that property i will click on the second click button i'll go to the properties and in the cursor type if i go ahead and select the smooth transition so what does that mean so now you would have understand it correctly it would drag the mouse and we would be able to see it right so let us see that in action i'll save everything and i'll go here and run the file okay so now if i take a closer look you will see the it has clicked on the home and the cursor was dragged right so now what happens if i change it again if i go here and change it to sorry the instant now the cursor will not be getting dragged it will click instantly go here and run the file it will click on the home and then directly clicked on the login right so that is the difference we get by using this property uh, the cursor motion type property and that is available in the december 2020 update now that we have seen the demonstration of using the cursor motion type let us see what does the documentation say so this is the documentation link from the forum.uipa.com where this uh, release was announced and i read it from here i'll put the link in the des description and you can refer that so let us go ahead and read this so it says that executing mouse events is one of the most used ui action in the automation right we have improved the way of the mouse pointer is moved from a source position to the destination by introducing a new property for both the modern and the click and the hover so these clicks include the double click and the hover as well right and it is called the cursor motion type this property can be used to set the type of the motion by the mouse pointer either it can be instant that we have seen where the pointer directly jumps to the destination or smooth the pointer moves in increment so when this option is useful this option is specifically useful for the cases where the target application or the ui element do not respond to the mouse point pointer teleportation event but expects a linear mouse pointer movement right so that is what we were saying right so if we have an application where if i directly click here and then i click here it does not respond but it requires a linear mouse movement at that scenario we can use this smooth mouse motion event okay so now i hope you understand that one i would recommend you to try this activity pack by yourself and see what is the difference and if you are aware of any of the application which requires a linear mouse transition please do comment in the comment box and let me know if you have encountered any such applications okay so i will wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation